What is up guys, Sonnerf Canadian Rider here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to properly clay bar your car. So right in front of me, I have my 2009 Lexus IS250. It's got over 325,000 kilometers. We just did a full wash on this car, a full decon wash on this car. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link it in the card above. If you wanna see more, make sure you subscribe as well, over 25,000 subscribers on the channel. Now, what I'm gonna be showing you today is how to properly clay bar your car so you can remove all those embedded contaminants that are on the paint, and this is gonna allow you to properly compound, polish, and put a ceramic coating on your car, which is exactly what we're gonna be doing to this car today. So I'm gonna show you some of these products. Now, the number one thing that you're gonna look for to buy is an actual clay bar. This clay bar is basically, literally exactly as it says, it's a piece of clay that you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna take a piece of, essentially, and you're gonna be using this with a lubricant to go ahead and remove all of the embedded contaminants that are on the clear coat out of it. I'm gonna show you how to do that. But in this example here, I'm showing you the chemical guys. This is their medium clay bar. This is what we're gonna be using today, as well as the clay lubricant and some soap and water solution. Everything I'm gonna be showing you today is gonna to be linked in the description box down below. So if, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. All of these products are in the description box below so you can easily access them if you'd like. Now, my one thing is, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, is you can go ahead and buy a clay lube, but actually I highly recommend that you either do a clay bar right after you wash the car or just use a little bit of soap in a water solution and sprayer. That's gonna be easy. But the important thing is, is that you wanna make sure you're using a solution that's gonna lubricate the car, lubricate the paint, while you're going it over with the clay. Because what you don't want to happen when you clay bar the car, I'm gonna show you this, that there's no lubrication between the clay and the paint. That's gonna cause marring and scratches on your paint, and you don't want that. So I'm gonna show you how to do this properly. You're gonna go ahead and make sure that you use these products. I'm gonna be showing you how I use the soap and water solution as the cost-effective method to go ahead and clay bar your car. So one thing that you're gonna wanna do, this is the entire piece of clay. You do not need all this, not at all. What you're gonna do is take a bit of it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip it off. Okay, and this is gonna be more than enough. This piece, the small piece, this is the remainder. I'm gonna go ahead, fold that back. I'm gonna put the remainder back in here. But this is more than enough to go ahead and do what we need to do for the car. What I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna start molding this clay into a flat rectangular shape. You want it just a flat rectangular shape that you can palm. You don't want it too thick. So you're just gonna spread it out like so and get it to a nice flat uniform shape. And I'm just gonna spread this out like this, get it flat, rectangular, great. This is good. Right here, this is perfect. The finish is clean, it's rectangular. Now we're gonna start really doing the clay bar. Warning, before we start this, I have to say this, make sure you get a good grip on your clay bar. It's harder than it looks because it's gonna be wet and it's gonna be with a lubricant. If this drops on the floor, you have to chuck this because look at my floor, it's filthy. You do not want any of that dirt and gunk to get inside of this clay bar and just scratch up your paint. So be very vigilant with how you're holding this clay bar and how you're gonna be going around this. So what we're first gonna do is we're gonna completely get this wet. We want this completely saturated, this area that we're gonna be working on. Now again, you can see that this has my soap solution. I'm gonna take the clay bar, I'm gonna spray it a little bit, and I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna rub. Now, I'm not putting any pressure. I am letting the clay bar just rub against the paint. Now, I don't know if you can hear this, but I can hear it. You'll notice, not only will you feel it, but you're gonna hear that the paint is like, it's like a sandpaper. And this car hasn't been clay barred in, you know what, I don't even think I've clay barred this car ever. Uh, this is the first time, and I'm hearing that sandpaper. And I'm gonna add more lubricant. If you ever feel as well that you're, you're getting any friction or you're getting any um, pulling, that means there's not enough lube. You always, you just wanna think about it like this. The more lube, the merrier. You want as much lube as possible. Get it nice and wet. Nice and wet lubed. Perfect. Now, 
some people are gonna say you shouldn't be doing it like a circle. And I agree with that because if you potentially have some dirt that's caught in here, it's gonna create circular scratches, which actually show more on the paint. So you want to go ahead and just keep it in singular straight line motions. And I'm just going ham on this. And this is the great thing about using water and soap is that it's not so expensive. So you're not worried about, oh, what if my clay lube is gone, right? And it's all finished. You don't need to worry about that. So just lube this thing up, lube it up, get it nice and clayed. There we go, no pressure. And this is cool because this is really deep cleaning the paint. I, you know, kind of use the analogy that this is exfoliating the skin of your paint. Just like your skin, if you're exfoliating it, this is kind of exactly what we're doing. And look at this, I'm feeling lots of dirt and grime that's coming up on here and we're getting rid of all of that. Now we're gonna do a check. You want to always do a check on the clay bar as soon as you're done one section of the car, just like when we were washing the car. So let's take a look at the clay bar. Look at that. So what you see here, this is all the dirt, all the contaminants that weren't able to be removed from our initial wash. And remember, we did a pressure wash on this car. We did a full foam cannon on this car. We washed the car with a mitt. And it's still not gonna get all this stuff in here because this is all stuck onto the clear. And we basically took it off. So now, this section is done. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next. You could go ahead and rinse this now or move on to the next panel. I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the next panel. Let's go ahead and work on this panel right now. This is not dirty enough that I would say you need to switch it. But in this case, I'm gonna show you right now what you're gonna to have to do. You're just gonna go ahead, remove it from your fingers. You're just gonna fold the clay, that's it. You're gonna fold the clay and remake your rectangle. That's it. Fold the clay, remake your rectangle. Now you have a clean sheet of clay. You're gonna lube up the next section of the car. And you're gonna start this again. Just light motions, no pressure. And you're gonna feel it. You're gonna hear it. You're gonna feel it when you're catching all that dirt. And you're also gonna notice, as I mentioned, the, the bottom of the car is always the dirtiest. As you come down, I feel it getting rougher. Can you hear that? You maybe can hear that, but it's getting rougher, grittier as we go down here. More lube, especially on this rocker. Now let's take a look. See the browning, the dirt, these things, all of this is again, just baked in to the clear coat. So what we're gonna do, we just finished this section, we're gonna fold it. That's it, and we're gonna make another rectangle. Now see, I'm gonna fold it again, expose a clean side of this clay bar. Now, you're probably asking, Canadian rider, why is this so important? Why do I need to clay bar the car? Well, there's actually a lot of reasons why. I mentioned this car, we're gonna do a full paint correction on it. So this car has tons of swirls and scratches right now. We went ahead, to, did a decontamination wash on the car, and I wanna go ahead and polish out all the scratches and swirls. In order for me to do that without instilling more scratches and swirls on the car, I need to make sure that the clear coat has no dirt or contaminants baked in because with the polish and the polishing pad, can you imagine if the polishing pad's polishing the paint, it's picking up all that dirt and just grinding that dirt back into your clear coat. You don't want that. The entire purpose of this is you're exfoliating the clear coat, you're exfoliating your skin to make sure that it's completely bare, that there's no dirt no contaminants, nothing that can get in the way of what you're gonna be doing, which is paint correcting the paint, getting it to a high gloss finish and the car. So that's what you wanna make sure you do. As well, maybe you're not doing a paint correction. Maybe your car is in great shape already and you don't need to go ahead and do a full polish with a full paint correction, but you do want to 
wax the car or put a sealant on the car. Well, if you wanna get the full maximum performance of that product that you bought, either it's a ceramic or a sealant or a wax, what you want to do is make sure it has a clean paint. You wanna make sure it has clean paint that is gonna to adhere to it properly because you're not gonna get that, you know, that stated life out of any ceramic product or any kind of sealant product if the sealant isn't adhering to just the clear coat, right? So this step is really important if you're thinking about how do I maximize the protection that I'm putting on my car and my paint? And this is what you have to do. This is basically how you clay bar your car. It's very efficient. You're using soap and water. You're using your clay bar. You're making sure you fully lubricate the panel. And this is gonna allow you to make sure your paint is completely clean. So, if you found this video helpful, give it a like and make sure you subscribe. Over 25,000 subscribers. I just wanna say thank you again. Um, I love doing this. I love educating people on this. I've been a professional detailer for the last 10 years. Ended up selling my business. Um, so now I do this as a hobby on the side. And I love doing this. I like taking care of my toys and my property. Um, so if you don't already know on the channel, I have my 2008 uh, Audi R8 V8, which I obviously make sure is immaculate. I also have my 2006 Ducati Monster S2 R800, which I'm doing a whole bunch of work to. You know, on top of this car, which I'm doing work on, which is a full ceramic, you know, full paint correction. We're gonna really transform this car and bring it back to life. We're doing a whole bunch of work on that car as well and on this Lexus. So if you're interested in these videos, you're interested in seeing this, honestly, this is gonna be an epic transformation. 325,000 kilometers on this car. 2009, Lexus IS250, and my goal is to turn this car into a brand new car. That's exactly what I'm planning on doing. Um, I like transforming things. It's, a, it's kind of an addiction that I have, and that's, I guess, why I started detailing. So um, make sure you subscribe. That is how you properly clay bar your car. I'm gonna do this for the entire car. After I'm done this, I'm gonna go ahead, wash the car again, I'm just gonna rinse it. I'm gonna dry the car. Now the paint is perfectly ready for whatever you wanna do. If you're gonna put a sealant on it, a wax, a ceramic, or if you're getting it ready for a full polish, and then you're gonna add some protection on top. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you like the video if you found it helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video.